So Come on back. March 14th. I'll coach you. So All right. Start from the top. <laughs> I love it. Live coaching right here. Hank from Two Market Media is coming out on March 14th at Provident Legacy Real Estate Services in Bayonne and we're inviting you to come out and join us. You're gonna learn so many valuable lessons from Hank. I mean, he's put so many stars up out to the open, out to Two Market, which is why it's Two Market Media. Um, you wanna be part of this. If you're a real estate agent, you need to get here. You need to get here because Hank is the master at getting you comfortable in front of a camera. It doesn't get better than that. I mean, he put some of the biggest names on television out there. He, he's coached them for years, got them comfortable to tell their stories. And as a real estate agent in this day and age, you're a dinosaur if you're, if you're still printing out flyers. You're a dinosaur if you're still doing things the, the old traditional way. We've moved on a long time ago, and we're inviting you to come in and learn how to do this today, the way it's done now, on your phone, on your cell phone. I, I, I just can't wait. You're not charging I just can't anybody. Wait. I charge a lot of people. We should charge you $1,000 to get here. I but charge a lot of money. Yeah, we like, should, I know you do. I, do. I know you do. Yeah. You're worth it. You're worth every penny. But because you've worked so many years behind the scenes, I feel like... They need to know who you worked on, Great. who's in front of the scenes. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. So, so who's who's the most memorable figure that you worked on? I mean, starting with Barbara Walters twenty years ago. She was known as a newscaster, right? She wanted to rebrand herself. Literally went to the networks and said, "I want to do a daytime talk show." At that time, the network told her, and what the rumor mill was at ABC was, Barbara wasn't going to get a talk show because. Nobody, she was too old, she was a newscaster, like the daytime audience, stay-at-home moms, weren't going to tune in to watch Barbara Walters in daytime. Mm -hmm. So, because it was Barbara and she still was very busy at ABC and, and obviously well-known personality, they, they paid for literally whatever it was, a couple hundred thousand dollars to put on a uh, pilot. That idea of how to build a show around somebody, how to take Barbara Walters from the news and rebrand her, and get her more attention in a different light was the beginning for me to seeing the trend that social media has completely swept everybody up in, which is you have to find a way to take who you are and what you're up to and find your audience. From there, I went to, um, I launched an entire network. I launched the <laughs> Oxygen Cable Network. <laughs> so you go from a, uh, one uh, big figure, big yep. name, to a whole network. Met Oprah, Jerry Laybourne, um, work closely with those guys launching a network from scratch, from zero. There wasn't, wasn't a takeover of a channel. It was literally like, how do we launch a women's network? We have Grant Cardone, and Grant I know Cardone. you're connected there. Yep. Uh, you just spoke uh, at the 10X Growth Con. 10,000 people. 10,000 people, yeah. amazing. Uh, um, a lot of fun. How did you meet Grant? Grant, as I probably mentioned, as I say now, Grant didn't close me, I closed Grant. I did a cold call at his house in uh, Hollywood Hills. Grant had just wrapped up doing TLC, had him on the Turnaround King. Mm. And uh, my business partner Steve saw him on TV. We went to Grant's house and uh, we closed him. Like, dude, you're doing all the right things, but no one's helping you go that extra mile. And from seven, eight years ago to today, we've been pushing all the things he's done. We've been behind the scenes orchestrating from the, the, his network, which I helped launch, which I, we formulated and launched with Grant. Mm. Um, his daily shows that he's doing on his network, hit the training, I got him radio shows, we got him his last book deal, um, the reality show on the network. Um, him sh here's the biggest thing that I bragged about during this, the, my speech because it is the biggest part. Grant, up until he met me, did not want to share his personal pain, his story. Mm. He did not want to tell people he was addicted to drugs. He thought it was a waste of time. He thought it was, it was a waste of his time, emotionally and intellectually. He thought no one would relate to it, that it mm. would, wasn't important enough to tell people. 
And I don't think a group of 10,000 people would come together to support one person without that, without that mission, there is no 10X. No. Without you sharing what's going on in that last piece of the pie, like everyone thinks this is a performance. Well, guess what? Those walls have been erased. Mm. We have cameras in our pockets. <laughs> There's, we know what it's like to see real lives and real people. And if you're not going through something and you're not sharing that with me, there's no real resonance there. I don't just need an expert. I need a person. I need a friend. And what I really help people do is that missing piece. Not just scale themselves as media personalities, but also how to tell the stories of their lives and their expertise and marry them into an online and, and media brand. How do we convince agents to leverage video, leverage what's in their pockets to get more listings, to get more uh, landlords and, and, and uh, sellers and investors to put their trust in their, of their properties in their hands? It's a, it's a great question, and to me, it's so simple. It's, it almost seems basic. But why, but why, why do 99 people don't get it? Oh, you want to have that conversation? I, I, I want both. Okay. So t tell me this, the answer, and tell me why people are not I'll following. Start, I'll start in the reason not, because that's the, the important part. It's scary. It's scary. So you're scared to turn on the camera and show the house, yep. show it's the scary. listing. I'm not Show good it enough. I don't talk. I don't look good. I don't sound good. I don't like how I sound. Mm. I've been coaching thousands of people for decades. Trust me. I know the only thing stopping you from getting more business and yeah. getting more money is you. You're scared to press record. Scared. What does your shirt say? It's only one thing holding you back. Press record. That's it. That's the only thing holding you back. Because you won't get better, you won't make that connection, you won't meet another person to sell or buy or anything until you get better at connecting with other people. That happens when you look into that void of that lens. That happens when you actually start to talk. I don't care how messed up it is. I don't care how bad you actually suck. Guess what? It doesn't matter. You'll get better. People will see themselves in you. What is it about the camera that terrifies people? Because it's permanent. So here's, the th here's what I know. When I became a real media coach, I knew that this was the most important thing. Like for me, media training is self-help. Fame mm. has become your obligation. You're obliged by society today to become famous. With social media and that, the per how pervasive it is, every human being is scared of that image being judged by somebody else. So they're, they refuse to do it. They won't push through and... They won't come to this thing and they won't press record, not because they don't want sales, not because they don't think they owe this to their family, because they know they do. Mm -hmm. They're scared. They're yep. scared of being yep. judged. Yep. Yep. Uh, now we're addressing a real estate agent. All right. Talk, talk directly to that agent. Invite them. Why should they come and hear you? Here's the thing. Don't come. <laughs> if you're scared, if you think you don't have what it takes to stand up for who you are and how you do things differently and better, because trust me, you're in a crowded space, son. Like if you don't want to show how you're better than the next guy and show how you bring service and value to your customers, if you're scared of sharing your story and you don't actually understand who you are and what you're up to, then stay home because you ain't ready. Then you're going to stay where you at. Guess what? That happens. You're not ready. Guess what? Got you. When you're ready, when you see how it actually works for most people like you, dude, dude, it's a grind. This is a job. This is real. This isn't a hobby. This isn't me going, I'm going to tweet when I feel like tweeting. I tweet every hour on the hour from 7 a.m. to midnight. It's my job. Getting known and getting attention and running my business is my job. This is your job. If you want to be better at your job and you want to make more sales and more money and actually do what you claim to love to do, then you'll show up and learn how to press record. That's how it works. Wow. Now, now that's how you invite somebody to come to a training. I don't, I, I don't bend arms. I can't make you want to do what we're talking about. This may not you're be for you. You're either ready for this or you're not ready for this. Or you're curious. Be interested. Stop letting fear stop you. How about that? Mm. How about that for once? Because you start doing this, it's a game changer in your business. It's a game changer in your life. I know the business. I know how to scale your business and your expertise in real estate. No one, there is literally no one else in the world better at, than me at this. Zero. No one's done this for anyone, let alone just for real estate agents, and I've handled dozens. I, I know the it. game. I love it. I love it. So what if somebody wants to work with you? They hear you 
on Wednesday. Get at me on Twitter. You're willing to coach people. Yeah, I'll stay there for quite, dude. I love like the reason I do this because when I see people stop by technology, stop by their personal fears, stop by not understanding what to do and how to execute. That's I just have a passion for fixing that sort of thing. I mean, I started a company, my own company, around helping people figure out how to navigate the the entertainment space. Entertainment has become social media. If you're not entertaining and putting yourself out there, you're going unnoticed. Mm -hmm. And if you're not utilizing free means of advertising, but how, how do you do that? Is it a course that they take I from you? Have, is it coaching one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. Is it different All levels? That, different? Yeah. Can you can you bring sure. that with you? Yeah, of course. And of course. share with yeah, us like what, how how we could get deeper Great. into this because one day is not going to solve it. Okay, it's just going to spark the fire. We get started. Know. I mean, I met a lot of people even just at the. I mean, I met. I didn't meet ten thousand people, but people came up to me and I was like, I can I can put you on the right path in a couple minutes. I can I can unblock somebody. I mean, I'm a coach. You I can unblock obstacles like this. Yeah. I mean, just your talk alone, right here. If someone's tuning into this. I mean, they just they didn't even have to come on Wednesday. Just start recording, start doing your thing. You have a you have a group on Facebook. I do. How do we invite people in? Star Power Social Club. Well, it's not exclusive, but I, you know, it's not for everybody. But it's they, not for everybody. Yeah. I'm on that group. I know. So, do how, 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 do, how do we get it? Recently, did you see what's going on in there? It's, 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 it's crazy what's happening in there. Lives it's, changing, son. Yeah it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I haven't yet posted anything. Scared? Um, no, I'm not scared. Oh, yeah, I'm not scared. <laughs> no, I'm not scared. <laughs> because some of the stuff I'm posting is edited, but the, uh, the other life stuff, I'll, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, I'm too busy. To... No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not scared. Never heard that before. <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Sometimes, sometimes. Um, this was fun. You're the man. Good to see you. On Wednesday, we're going to do this. Let's do it.